Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. I'd like to update you guys about where I've been over the past week. Comic Con. I got a little burnt when I was at Comic Con. Hey that feels pretty good. It's a home remedy. It's been passed down many generations. Eons, uh, some could say. Some of you guys might be saying, hey man that's hella gay. You're the one who just said the gay word. What are you, fucking homophobe? <laughs> now that you got it all, all, all up on there, you just want to... I think I'm ready to do the show. As soon as it's fucking not in my goddamn eyeball. On today's episode of Kickstarter Crap, we're going to be looking at some water bottles that tell you whether or not you're thirsty. You're probably wondering, how the hell did Rashonda turn into a water bottle? While working or at school... I found myself sitting at my computer eight hours or more a day. I'd get terrible headaches and I felt fatigued. Felt, felt, felt. I wanted to research what was happening and I finally narrowed it down. I was just thirsty. Well, there you have it. Your solution is found. No need to make Orca the, the fucking the whale bottle or whatever the fuck it's called. You know what happens when you drink too much water? You fucking piss it out. Life takes practice. It can be complicated. Your hydration shouldn't be. Hydration shouldn't be complicated. That's why we put a little computer in the lid of your water bottle. It needs a smartphone to work, and also you have to charge it. So uh, that whole complicated thing is uh, is a bit of a, a little steaming, a bit of a steaming pile of bullshit. If you want hydration to be less complicated, here's what you do. Uh, step one: detach that Raspberry Pi from the bottom of the water bottle. Uh, step two: you did it. Nice job, buddy. You lose critical fluids constantly. By the time you realize that you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Let me phrase this in a different way so that you realize how fucking stupid that sounds. By the time you realize you're hungry, you're already starving. No, no fucking shit? The group tracking feature allows parents, coaches, trainers, and medical staff to monitor the hydration levels of those in their care. Oh, great. Big brother. Yeah, yeah. We, if 1984 already. Hey, Sarah, I've noticed that uh, you're drinking a little bit less than the other girls. What's the matter? Fucking Sarah knows when she needs to fucking drink, you goddamn asshole. Let the girl f play soccer and drink at the end of the fucking match if she wants to. The fact that the Orca Smart Bottle caters to the most fundamental element of health. I, uh, I made a drawing myself. It's a very simple two-step process. You let the fluid drain into your body, you're good to go. That's uh, step one, step two. Well, maybe it's just one step. Drink water. Now we're going to be taking the technology down a notch. We're going to be looking at a hippie telling us how his water bottle can remind you to love yourself. Uh, this is a, a little bit of a bottle company, and um, but it's more than just bottles, and it's more than just water. It's about love. I don't think it's about love. I think it's about you making some fucking money. What, what is a bottle made out of? Hemp? Does hemp equal love? Oh, you're going to be giving a dollar to charity water for every bottle you sell? So, this is called Love Yourself, and this is a Love Yourself bottle. It does have a cap that'll be on the top here. But this is a 2.2 uh, a liter jug of water, which is our daily required intake for water. So, it, uh, you know, all you have to do is fill this up once with you, take it around, and... Um, and try and finish it by the end of the day. Well, there you go, guys. The hairy hippie figured it out. You just have a slightly bigger water bottle and you try to finish it by the end of the day. There's all these fucking, like, studies out there that people cite, like, oh, you need to drink 10 8-ounce glasses of water a day. Have you ever tried to do that shit? Uh, like, on a normal day where you're not fucking doing anything? It's like, this is a bit much. I might go into a fucking water coma if I keep drinking this much water. It's... It's unnecessary most of the time. Oh, it's so healthy. Yeah, it might, might be healthy if you're fucking running marathon. Might might be healthy if you're in the fucking Sahara Desert. It's not healthy if you're you're literally comatose on the computer. Oh yeah, you're draining a lot of fucking water just sitting there. I don't know about that, Idubs. I've seen some StarCraft players that really build up a sweat. Oh yeah, yeah, them StarCraft players doing a lot of actions per minute. Yeah, they might need an ounce or two. They need some fucking... Adderall as well. So by, you know, lo loving ourselves, we can love the world, right? That's the whole premise behind this company. Oh, it's so inspirational. Love, 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 love yourself. Love yourself. I would say the Love Yourself water bottle is fucking epic. 
really, uh, really, truly a groundbreaking experience. So I began exercising and eating better, but for a long time I still felt sluggish and tired. It's like, where did all of my energy go? And then I realized that I forgot the most important part, drinking water. These people are acting as if this is a common problem, where where you feel tired after fucking exercising. Yeah, you feel fucking tired after exercising. And you don't drink water? Yeah, I missed out on the most fundamental thing, water. I just get done with a run and I eat a roast beef sandwich. We are tracking everything about our body right now. Our exercise, our sleep, our diet. But there's no easy way for us to track the most essential thing to our body, water. It's the next piece of the puzzle. Let's gather up all the puzzle pieces. We got a lucid cock smart ring, some fucking smart sunglasses. We got a smart umbrella, smart toothbrush, smart sponge. You can wash the dishes with it and it tells you how quickly you wash the dishes, how much soap you used. Ah, oh, I used less soap this time. I'm, I'm pretty pimp. So we quit our jobs, packed our bags, and left everything familiar behind to work on a product that we believed in. You guys quit your job so you could work on a smart bottle? That took some panache, and some pizzazz, and some gufta, and some panache. So something that is technically advanced, but doesn't look like a tech product, because we want it to be natural. Almost like a natural extension of yourself. Almost like a natural extension of yourself. <laughs> I've heard that on a couple other Kickstarter projects. We want it to be natural, 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 a natural extension of yourself. I want my water bottle to be a natural extension of myself, just like I want my Nintendo DS to be a natural extension of myself. <laughs> if Orca wasn't cool enough a name for you, you could get Dylan, which uh, isn't necessarily a smart water bottle, but it's a water bottle that's really going to improve your life because it raises the pH of your water, making it alkaline water, baby. Dylan is a 750 milliliter stainless steel bottle with a Vita Bead mineral diffuser, which increases the pH of your water in minutes. You know that guy who lived to uh, 120 something? Guess what he was drinking every day? That's right, alkaline water. That's how he survived, yeah. A lot of people don't know that was his secret, alkaline water. How much water should we be drinking? Drinking too much or too little can be dangerous, and the reality is that everyone's optimal level of hydration depends on a bunch of different factors that are unique to you. I get it, you guys. You know, it's hard to argue with water. That's why they're fucking selling this shit. It's like, well, we can make all the claims that water claims, which is it hydrates you. It fucking keeps you healthy, keeps you from dying. Might even improve your complexion if you drink enough of it. Yeah, that's what our product does because it contains water in it. You guys know me. I'm a bit of a Jew. I don't really like spending money on things. So when you, when you say that I could have a water bottle that uh, costs 35 or 40 dollars i tend to want to say this is really not for me uh having said that it's got a bit of tech in it and i would say that this is a fair price for for a, a tech bottle all right everybody that is going to do it for this episode of kickstarter crap i hope you enjoyed watching i'm going to start uh, uploading a bit more frequently now that i'm pretty sure i have nothing in my way and uh i'm going to put some shit up on the second channel a bit of a comic-con vlog also, more shit going up on the games channel. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to next time when I'm fucking gay.